You ever done a window regulator with pop rivets? We're going to do that today. Or Bronco. Hey there. Welcome to Turbo World. I'm Turbo Weldy. And I'm glad you made it today. Thanks for taking time to check out what we got going on. Today we're checking out a Bronco and some windows. Fix some windows and some Bronco. It's going to be a two part series because we've got a lot of fiction. So, if this is your first time here, you're in the right place to fix and upgrade your stuff. Your mom's stuff, your friend's stuff, whoever's stuff. That's what we do here. We upgrade stuff, we fix it, we make it faster. So hit that subscribe button down below and hit that like if you like what you see. Let's get started. So this is my buddy David's Bronco. Uh, the window works, but it's obviously got some off-track issues. I think maybe a regulator will fix. Uh, the other window over here, the regulator is completely broken and it will not go up and down. And the rear one in the back, we're going to be addressing that one as well. It will not go up and down. It's like a 1990 or something. Pretty cool little truck. Got a motor swap in it. A little 351. Had a 302 in it. Four wheel drive. This is what I call the Denver Bronco. Bronco. Now the hazards of this job are hitting the corner of this door with your knee if you're my height. Let me tell you, it doesn't feel very good. You should knock it right there and right there. So we pulled the panel off of that side and I'm going to show you how to pull it real quick. It's not too difficult at all. I started with the deal here when I unscrewed it. Door lock. It's just a threaded piece of plastic. I'll try to stick all the parts where they won't fall. So this door panel is basically held on by these little pop rivet deals. These guys. After you pull the screw out of the armrest, that guy, and you look around for anything else, you follow the seam all the way down. This panel separates. This panel separates from this panel. Now you don't have to take this panel off, but you can. So this bad boy just pops out. Oh, I got gifts. Okay. Anyway, it pops out. There's some stuff in there holding it in there. You can probably see. There's one. Pop root or little uh, little anchor, <laughs> plastic anchor. We'll pop those out, and then it'll be on the harness. And then you just basically yank it up to clear this stalk and out. Kind of an awkward situation. I couldn't film it and do it by myself, but I can show you how it's already done. So here's the spot for all the anchors. No, it's obviously missing a few. They slide right in these tabs. So we're going to buy some new ones. Those are obviously pretty worn. But that's where they slide into. Little tabs. That's where the door lock went through. And we pulled it out of the handle. And so basically the only thing really holding it on now is this wire. Three Phillips screws. And there's another one back behind here at the top. Right there. Well, you all know what these are, don't you? You don't? Oh, these are pop rivets. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Yeah. We do have to get a couple different tools. But I'd have got them. You might have to get them. But a lot of car manufacturers go this way. The pop rivets hold airplanes together. So these are pretty cool fasteners. I'll show you how to get rid of these bad boys today and how to replace them. Place this regulator here because it doesn't work uh, with a new window motor and regulator. And we're going to take these rivets out. We're going to pull this regulator out and the motor, which is hidden behind here, the window motor. I'm going to pull that whole assembly out and replace it with a new one. And we're going to put new rivets in there. And once you get that last bolt at the top, and you drop it like I did, the whole switch comes out. So it just basically screws into the door panel here. It just holds the switch in. We're going to go ahead and take it and put the door panel on the 
back out of our way. And then we're going to go ahead and remove our harness. And our harness is held in by the same clip kind of that's on the door. It's a little pull clip tab. So we're going to go ahead and get some tools and pull that out. Try not to damage it so we can put it back. We're going to pull that one out too. There's one right here and one right here. Just to move this harness down so we can get in here and, and get rid of these rivets. Alright, we've got that one. Now we need to get this one. And I'm going to get these other two. And I can really drop it down. Got my handy grinder, my grinder disc, go after it. It would mean everything to me if I do. Tired of hearing excuses you make it. The future is set, it is my fault to take it. Just put a screwdriver in there and punch it out. I did unplug this to make sure that it had power going to it, and it did at this plug. So that's why we're pulling the whole deal out. I checked with a voltmeter, plugged it into here and here, and then flipped the switch, and it sure does have 12 volts going to it. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the motor and grind these other three rivets out, pull it apart. Header gasket from the Envoy. I mean, but anything will work. A chunk of wood would probably work in this situation just as well. I need that handle to stay open so I can get a good, good nice angle on this. Rivet. Some of these angles will just really make you uncomfortable if you're not used to using all the sides of your body. <laughs> yeah, so we got the three rivets up and the window dropped down. It just kind of clunked down about that far because the window regulator was almost all the way up. So now we got to get this guy off the track. And it either goes forward or reverse. And I'll probably need both hands to do that, so we'll figure it out. slide off that side in the front. Go ahead and the way up. Spin this bad boy around in here. down so it doesn't fall down and break, you know. We got the O'Reilly one, the new one here. It's a little bit different. The motor's on the other side, which is kind of concerning, but I'm focusing on this and this on the old one make sure it's on the right side and making sure that I'm on the right side and that these are on the right side so that's the one we're sticking in there we stuck a screwdriver through here and just kind of put it on the backing of that door handle there and through the hole to keep the window from coming down and crashing on us so we can finagle this thing back in backwards Again. Ooh, all right. 
going to move our window until we can get it to the right position. put some rivets in this thing so these rivets right here the tool I have it pulls this stem and when it does it smashes this into a mushroom on the back side and makes it a fastener so it has uh, kind of like a mushroom on the back side to hold it from going backwards or forwards now when we ground it off we grounded this part off and punched it through backwards we're going to start with our bottom one. You know, the one that's holding all the stuff that I shouldn't have done. There we are. Line this bad boy up. No! Oh. There she is. Alright, got her lined up. We're going to put our gun on it. Pulling it closer. Bam. Alright, and that one's done. Alright, next. Realigner. Put our next rivet in. got ourselves a window regulator. So this little handy tool when you spread the things out it opens up these little claws inside of this bit and it grabs them and when it shears the little ends it's keeps them in this little deal here it's kind of neat it breaks them off so you don't have them all over the floor. I did this on a Firebird window regulator. I think I did two Firebird window regulators last year. So I got this tool and these rivets. Now the part number for the rivets part number time from O'Reilly. O'Reilly's Auto Part. Window regulator parts number. Don't get me lying which is which but that's left and right. From O'Reilly as well. We have this plug right here that wasn't near as easy to get back in the hole as it was out and I'll show you why. There's a couple things going on here this ridge and this ridge and it just has to fit exactly in there correctly and then you got to hold it like I'm holding it with my thumb inside the hole where the handle goes the door handle and so I ended up getting it in there just by feeding it in there and then I come back behind the handle Woo! see it's it's a ditchy operation like things go flying all kinds of people are screaming the village is going wild you know, type of junk, like, yeah, it ain't fun. So I usually start by feeding the one side in. To the son of a grass. Golly, boy. <laughs> You gotta love it, dude. Yeah, and as soon as the camera bounces at an angle, and there you have it. It clips right into place like nobody's business. <laughs> love it. Woo. Son of a buck. Feed it in at an angle like this, and then just kind of wiggle it in and set it up on the ledge. 
grabbing it with your thumb like that, set it up on your ledge or your door pocket. Like that, lay it down and put your bolt in. So after you have it set above your pocket ledge, kind of resting between there and your seat, then you can put your bolts in. That's the most awkward switch. Get our snaps in. Get those in the holes in the door by sliding it first over this. I'm locking this because we know we locked it like 8,000 times trying to put the switch together. Slide it through the door handle. Through the door handle. Sure you get them all pretty well started you make sure you get them all pretty well started and they'll go in there Screw back in from the top. Char. Put our clutch a little bit further up. You notice we adjusted our clutch to about four. We're going to bump it up to about six. That's so that you don't strip bolts out. Screws. That's so you don't strip screws out. Clutch is there. Use it. before make sure our door locks work hey there we go our window oh yeah well I guess we'll turn the key on that makes makes sense so we got up and downage Switches work, door panels on. I'm gonna go to the other side and see what we got going on over here. Do the same thing, pull it apart, save you the gruesome details until we get into something different on this side. Then I'll share with you. Got that window on the passenger side working, but we're gonna save the other window for the next video because it's a little bit more drawn out and so is the back window. Not near as simple as just putting a new part in. Also coming up, Black Widow. <laughs> oh, she died on me yesterday. So we got an upcoming video about that and how we're going to fix her. 
So thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Take care.